2017 Hyundai Sonata Hybrid features good fuel economy, a comfortable and well-equipped interior, and decent performance. Its lower ranking is less indicative of its overall quality than of the excellence of its rivals. Its downsides are related to its performance. While acceleration is swift from a standstill, you really have to punch the gas to keep the car moving at high speeds. And when you're ready to slow down, the hybrid's regenerative brakes feel grabby and inconsistent. The 2017 Sonata Hybrid could be for you if you want a nicely appointed, reliable hybrid that won't break the bank. However, you'd be smart to shop around before committing to a Sonata Hybrid. No matter what your main consideration is, there's probably a better alternative available. The Toyota Prius costs less and is much more fuel efficient. Both the Honda Accord Hybrid and Chevrolet Malibu Hybrid are slightly more expensive than the Sonata Hybrid, but they deliver better performance and an overall better package. The Sonata Hybrid and Sonata Plug-in Hybrid were last redesigned for the 2016 model year and receive only minor updates for 2017. As a result, this overview uses applicable research and reviews from the 2016 and 2017 model years. Drivers seeking a comfortable car for the daily commute will find a good companion in the 2017 Hyundai Sonata Hybrid. It has decent power for driving in city traffic, though it's a bit underpowered on the highway. Fuel economy is great compared to the midsize class as a whole, but only average for a midsize hybrid. The Sonata Hybrid is easy to drive and maneuver and has a cushioned ride. It's not particularly agile, however. Acceleration and power The 2017 Sonata Hybrid's powertrain consists of a 2.0-litre four-cylinder engine and an electric motor that together generate 193 horsepower. The Sonata Plug-in Hybrid has a more powerful electric motor that boosts the combined output to 202 horsepower. All models come with a six-speed automatic transmission. The base model gets up to 39 miles per gallon in the city and 45 miles per gallon on the highway. That's typical for a midsize hybrid, and excellent for the midsize class as a whole. Still, some hybrid rivals like the Chevrolet Malibu Hybrid and Honda Accord Hybrid use significantly less fuel. The Sonata Hybrid's powertrain is best suited for city driving, with the electric motor providing quick acceleration from a stop, and a seamless transition when the gas engine fires up. On the highway, you may want more power for overtaking other cars, so give yourself some extra room to merge. Many hybrids have continuously variable transmissions, CVT, that operate similarly to automatics. They're frequently described as unrefined and noisy, especially under hard acceleration. The Sonata Hybrid's traditional six-speed automatic transmission makes quick shifts without the unpleasant sounds of a CVT. Alternate fuels, charging, the Hyundai Sonata plug-in hybrid has a larger battery pack than the base hybrid model. This battery lets you drive up to 27 miles using electricity alone, getting 99 miles per gallon equivalent. The only other plug-in hybrid in the class, the Ford Fusion Energy can't match the Sonata plug-in hybrid's range or efficiency since it only goes 19 miles on a charge, and gets only 88 miles per gallon equivalent. Comfortable, roomy, and quiet are all words to describe the 2017 Hyundai Sonata hybrid's cabin. The interior is filled with upscale materials, and build quality is top-notch. The seats are cushioned, and there's generous space in both rows. Some competitors have better rear seat headroom, however. The Sonata Hybrid's infotainment system is user-friendly and has the latest tech features, including smartphone integration. Cargo room is excellent for a hybrid mid-size sedan. Seating Inside the 2017 Hyundai Sonata Hybrid, you may feel like you're riding around in a more expensive car. Materials throughout are high quality, and the cabin is well built. It's quiet, too, so you can easily chat with other passengers. The front seats are roomy and comfortable and the back seats have a ton of legroom. You'll find the infotainment system easy to use, and you can access your phone's apps using standard smartphone integration in all models. There's more room in the Sonata Hybrid trunk than you'll get in many midsize hybrids. Like most midsize sedans, the 2017 Sonata Hybrid has seats for five on standard cloth upholstery. Heated, ventilated, power-adjustable front seats and leather upholstery are optional. When you climb inside, you'll immediately notice how spacious the cabin is. The driver and front passenger will enjoy comfortable seats and have plenty of room. Interior features, meanwhile, the back seats are easily among the most commodious in the class, with legroom that could compete with the rear seats of some much more expensive cars. Tall adults may wish for more headroom in the rear seat, however. 
The Toyota Camry Hybrid has ample headroom in the back so it might be worth a look if you have tall friends and family. The Sonata Hybrid comes standard with dual-zone automatic climate control, Bluetooth, a USB port, a six-speaker audio system, satellite radio, HD radio, a proximity key, a hands-free power trunk lid, a rear-view camera, and a 7-inch touchscreen infotainment system with Apple CarPlay and Android Auto. Cargo, for the 2017 model year, all Sonata Hybrid trims come standard with Android Auto and Apple CarPlay smartphone integration. These systems let you use some of your phone's apps on the touchscreen, including music services like Pandora and Spotify. You can also use your phone's Maps app through the infotainment system if you don't use a model with built-in navigation. The infotainment system has logical menus and sharp graphics that make it easy to quickly find and access features and settings. You may find the touchscreen difficult to reach from the driver's seat, however.